Hello, this is my super powerful low and mid range Yamaha YZ250 two stroke. And today I'll show you how I made it very powerful. Uh, this bike is even faster than my 250 four stroke because uh, 250 four stroke you must shift the gears to ride quickly. With this bike, I can ride on a fourth or fifth gear, even the uh, tight corners, I need not a third gear. So, this is super pulling Yamaha, suitable not only for enduro, for example, but also for motocross riding. Because you can ride with, in the wet class, of course, you can ride with uh, fifth or fourth gear in uh, low or mid RPMs. And the bike is very not hard pulling without any pulling. So, bike is ride very smoothly. So, you can ride a long, prolonged period of time without tiring when you ride this bike. So, what modifications I made? First and foremost, the most important modification, I shaved off the cylinder two millimeters to lower it. So, cylinder is lowered by two millimeters. This means you need to also shorten by two millimeters a governor rod. This is an exhaust valve uh, governor rod. And this is a cutting off and welded together, lowered by two millimeters. Also, my governor is modified. So there is only three shims. One shim, the first shim closer to balls, is a motocross shim. It is one millimeter thick. Then uh, is a bearing, needle bearing. Then is 0 0.8 millimeter thick shim from enduro governor then again is 0 0.8 shim from enduro governor and then is a removed shim the spring is a uh, enduro spring this is not motocross governor spring this is spring from yamaha yz 250x two stroke motorcycle this is how it mod modified governor next I, of course, uh, I must uh, modify a uh, head also because of lowered cylinder. Under the cylinder is stock uh, gasket. There is no modifications anymore. But the uh, head, of course, is modified. To achieve a squish, squish bend is 1.2 millimeters squish. And of course, uh, the head dome is uh, much bigger than standard. Maybe three millimeters bigger of course uh, the head is uh, on late is machined also a lower and also then is uh, as i remember 2.8 millimeters deep into the head and then a squish clearance is 1.2 millimeters and head dome is bigger than standard also my ignition is very retarded unscrew the three bolts turn forward the ignition maybe one millimeter back and fix it so i don't know how many degrees it is in, in the angles but ignition is very very retarded so move it forward like the rotation wise in this uh, direction what engine rotates forward i mean so bolts are unscrewed and rotated forward almost till the end also, for better suspension, I ride on 2009 Yamaha YZ450 uh, shock, standard shock, but uh, I have modified linkages. The dog bone is standard from the Yamaha YZ250 two-stroke, but linkage uh, triangle is uh, from Yamaha YZ450 X. Uh, at uh, 2009 year and this gives uh, a lower position but uh, suspension travel is more progressive than standard suspension travel uh, uh, like a uh, Yamaha YZ250 two stroke because two stroke uh, suspension travel is very linear is not as progressive as I like so 
this of course uh, not impact to my engine or go or uh, power but this is suspension wise also i have a gnarly pipe silencer uh, but this it, uh, this pipe does not affect uh, engine power very much so first lower the cylinder two millimeters yeah it's maybe sounds too much but this good enough next squish clearance 1.2 this is very important and then a governor mode also a uh, governor rod cap is also cut it down for two millimeters uh, so you can install on cylinder of course this bike rides very very torquey on low rpms also on middle rpms but uh, you can lose your start position because uh, it's right like and you have not top rpms at all but you need not when you ride in wet class you need not so explosive power in top rpms so if you like uh, some experiments you can experiment with your bike and uh, this setup is super super good for enduro riding for tight corners and also is very good for veteran class uh, motocross uh, with this bike i can ride on a complicated not simple track faster than my 250 four stroke bike so this is my yamaha yz250 modifications for veteran class motocross that's all for today hope you find it useful peace chill you and bye